So at Great Falls National Historical Park, there are so many kinds of trees. And each of those trees has something really cool about them for you or for me. But also, all the so many kinds of trees have so many different kinds of leaves. And in this lesson, we're going to start exploring the leaves of the trees. Let's go see what we're going to do today. The first part of the leaf is called the blade. The blade, I might think of as kind of like a canoe paddle blade, because it could help a little mouse paddle through the water. The blade is really the whole leaf. So the first part is the blade or the whole leaf. The second part that we often see together is the edges of the leaf. The edges of the leaf are called the margin. The margin are the side edges of the leaf. The margin is the side edges of the leaf. The third part of the leaf is the veins. Just like you and I have veins running through our bodies, leaves have veins running through their blades. So I have my great big blade with my margins on the side. The veins are these thick lines that run through the leaf. If you notice carefully, there is one vein in the middle that is very thick, and then smaller veins going out from the middle vein off to the side. The very thick center vein is called the primary vein, or first, or most important, or thickest vein, and then the others, which are all thinner and come from the primary vein, are called secondary veins. The veins are the lines on the back of the leaf. The primary vein is the thick one. The secondary veins are the thinner ones. Finally, we have the leaf stem. Now we've been learning all sorts of things about stems. We have stems on our plants for our plant experiments. Later, we're going to learn about flowers, and the flower is going to have a stem on the flower that's attached to the stem on a plant. And now we have the stem on the leaf. So we have very specific words for each type of stem. And for the leaf, we call the stem the petiole. P-E-T-I-O-L-E. Petiole. The petiole is the leaf stem. 